We are in IBM StoreWise. I'm going to show you how to create a new user. So go ahead and on the left hand side click on the lock. Click on users. And from here we can create either a new user group or just a new user. Now we just want to create a new user group because here's the different groups over here on the left side. We want to go into the new user button. And from here we'll go ahead and put in a uh, we'll put in security officer it's going to be a local authentication user group is going to be any one of these options so if you're obviously the uh, administrator then or the security admin then you're going to have the most rights so security admin has all the rights of the administrator plus can make changes to the security itself if you go down and choose copy operator service or monitor then you have even less rights and an admin net was just a test created group it doesn't have any particular rights unless we assign them so under copy operator it allows you to actually copy things uh, you know make some changes service lets you make even less changes and monitor doesn't like let you make any changes just allows you to make uh, or just allows you to monitor what's going on on storewise so we're going to make a security admin with the uh, most amount of rights and we see that there is some complexity we have to take care of here for the password. It has to be at least six characters. Uh, cannot log on, uh, begin or end with a space. So we'll go ahead and put in our password here. Verify it. And we know that they match because otherwise it would have said so. If we want, we can also uh, browse to a public key where we can uh, import that. And we'll just go ahead and click Create. All right, so now we have our new user. If we want, we can log off and then log back in as the the new security admin. And you can see that uh, the security officer is the username.